Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. Today I'm going to be sharing with you areas that you're forgetting to clean and there's going to be some on here that you forgot about so definitely watch the entire video. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Now let's jump straight into today's video. Okay, ladies, let's talk doors. I feel like we're really good about cleaning the inside. Hopefully you're remembering to clean the outside. I feel like we're all good about that. We're even good about wiping down the glass or window part, but the area we're forgetting to clean is like the inside of the door. Look at this. I noticed this when I had company over. I feel like when guests are in your house, you notice the places that you're forgetting to clean. So definitely just be aware. But here is the spot, ladies, that we're forgetting to clean. The inside of the door was so dirty. I wipe this door down all the time, but I was forgetting to get the inside of the door. Okay, so for cleaning areas like this, I always like to start off with just like soapy hot water. So I've got my faucet running back there so I can get it nice and hot. I'm gonna grab a towel that I can clean with and just some dish soap. So anything you have, it doesn't have to be anything specific. Just grab whatever you have sitting out next to your sink. Let that water get nice and hot. And then I just like to get the rag really wet and then add some soap and kind of set it up. And I feel like you can clean so many things with this. It's nothing special. It's nothing fancy but it'll get the job done So now you can see I'm just taking that soapy rag and just rubbing it up on the door. Everything's coming off pretty easily. If this doesn't work, you could also use like a magic eraser. And I'm also going to do the inside frame as well. So don't forget just about the door. Your frame's probably dirty too. Now my house is white, so it shows a little bit more than if your house was brown, but you definitely still need to clean it even if it's camouflaged. But as you can see here, it is just so much cleaner and I don't have to be embarrassed when guests open the door now. Also, don't forget when you're checking all of these sides of your doors, definitely check your cabinets. Those get just as dirty too. Now you might catch those because you're in those more often, but just a reminder to check those as well. One more door to check before we move on to the next area is your garage door. So we use our garage door most. That's the way we come in and out. We use our front door for like guests and if we're getting the mail, but typically we're coming in and out of the garage. This camera is being very generous and grateful to me, but it's actually so dirty. There was like food on it. There was black on it. I cannot tell you the last time I wiped down this door and we've lived here like four years and I don't know that I've ever opened it up. Now I'm good about cleaning the inside of the door that's like on the inside of our house but the side that's actually in the garage I just never think to open up and clean and I guess when I'm coming in my hands are normally full or I'm rushing in to get George I've just never thought to stop and look at it and when I did it was filthy so definitely check all those doors that you aren't regular checking um, but that you use daily Now we need to remember to change our air filters. I want to thank Second Nature for sponsoring today's video. I love their subscription because it's customized to me. I choose how often the filters get delivered, what size I need, and how many. It just makes it so easy and they ship straight to your door. Now my filters will no longer look like this. This is absolutely disgusting. So I'm going to leave a link down below in my description box if you want to check out all those myths. But one of them is that air filters only protect your unit. They do not clean your air and that is a myth. So the fact is that as your HVAC system pulls air into your home to cool or warm it, the filter intercepts that air and your ductwork. 
it acts as a barrier for anything carried by the air that you don't want in your home. So if you suffer from allergies or own pets or deal with various pollution issues, definitely upgrade to the MERV 11 or MERV 13. We're actually using the MERV 13 just because my people have allergies and we have two dogs in the house. So definitely click on that link down below in my description box to get signed up and your first shipment is free and they're shipped straight to your door. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So thanks again to Second Nature for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so now you have new filters, but let's not stop there. I think we forget to clean our vents up there and it just gets dirty so quickly. So I'm gonna grab my Dyson vacuum with the extension pole and like the brush on it. I feel like that really helps get the dust and you can scrub it. So my ceilings are super tall. So you can tell if I didn't have it on the vacuum, there's no way I could reach that. But I feel like since I have the brush head on my vacuum, I can really like rub it. So anything that's stuck on there, I can loosen up. So I'm gonna work Work on this vent and then we have two in our house so then I'm gonna walk over to the other side and work on getting that vent clean as well So once I'm finished cleaning, you're gonna see what the brush head looks like. Anytime you're finished using this piece and it's super dirty, I have a quick little tip for you. All you have to do is remove it from the vacuum and then use the vacuum to clean the brush off. So then you're not having to touch all that dust or whatever it is you were cleaning up. And I just feel like that's just a simple way to get that little attachment clean. Okay, friends, now we're gonna move on to the bathroom because I think there's some spaces we're all forgetting and I'm just as guilty of it. Okay, the first one is don't forget to clean behind the toilet. And when I say behind the toilet, I mean on the tile, on the actual toilet itself, on all the plumbing and wiring, on the baseboards, on the wall. It gets so dirty and I think you forget it back there. And sometimes I'm bad about cleaning and not moving things, but underneath my trash can was so dirty because I hadn't pulled it out. So the products I like to use is a paper towel. You can use just a dry cloth, whatever you want to use. I like to use disposable things when I'm working with the toilet, but do what's best for you. And then disinfecting wipes. Once again, I just like them because I can throw them away when I'm done and I don't have to put them in my washer. But first take that dry cloth and wipe everything down. It's gonna be super dusty and dirty. And if you go straight to your disinfecting wipes that are wet, it's just gonna clump up. So definitely just go in and wipe everything down. Okay, now that I'm finished cleaning it with my paper towel, I'm gonna grab my wet disinfectant wipes. I'm gonna clean it the exact same way. I'm gonna clean the back of the toilet, the plumbing, the wiring, the baseboards, the tile, but now I'm doing it with the wet version. So this is actually gonna clean any spots up or any stains. Um, it's also gonna disinfect it. So I know this is hard because it's like weird spaces, but make sure you're cleaning around both sides of it. Don't just clean from one side and make sure you're reaching all the way to the very back of that toilet and getting it nice and clean. So here is the after, they just look so much better. Those baseboards get so dusty back there and actually that silver like pipe or um, lining that's in there, it gets so dusty and you don't notice it. So definitely just make sure and get those clean. I'm guilty of like checking when I go to a friend's house to see if they're cleaning back there. Not that it matters, I still love them, but it is funny how many people forget to clean behind their toilet. So definitely just walk past your bathrooms today, peek back there and see how clean or dirty it is. Okay, now that we finished cleaning the bottom of the bathroom, we're gonna clean the top. So I think this is really normal. We're good about all cleaning what's high level to us, but we're forgetting to like get down on our knees and look around and we're forgetting to lift our head up and look up. Those are the areas we're forgetting and it's very common. So definitely just do that when you're finished cleaning. I wanted to clean my bathroom vents because I've lived here four years and have never done that. So that is something I've forgotten to do. 
it took less than a few seconds it's just I forget to do it I'm really bad about cleaning this window as well so just taking a few moments that gets those spaces clean that I just completely are like out of sight out of mind and I wanted to show you when I'm working on a vent I do it in all the bathrooms so I just when I'm working on the toilets I go from bathroom to bathroom because I'm in that mode of cleaning that space or that object and to me that's just a lot easier Okay, now we're gonna talk washer. These get pretty dirty most of the time. I'm good about wiping it out, but what I haven't cleaned in a while is my laundry softener um, little holder. So I don't know if you guys know, but these actually pull out so you can actually clean them. I know it's something we all forget to do. I'm just as guilty, but I did wanna show you it just pulls out and then you can wash it. So that's what we're gonna work on now. Now this part I can't pull out, but I can just use a towel to clean it, which I'm gonna do here in a second. But first I'm gonna start working on the other pieces. So I like to just take them to my kitchen. I feel like it's easiest to clean in there. And I just use, once again, soapy hot water and a sponge and I get those nice and clean. I just clean them like you would any other dish. And a lot of that stuff is just soft um, laundry detergent or soft softener. And it comes out really easy. It just needs to be washed. So here's how it's looking. It already looks so much better, but you can take it one step further. If you can see, there's still some like laundry softener down in there. And then where the actual letters are, that's gotten really dirty and gross. So if you just take a toothpick, it's really easy to clean. It's just, you have to take the time to do it. If you just run it on there, it just scratches it up or loosens it up and then it wipes right off. It really doesn't take that long. It's just taking the time to do it. So here's what it looks like. You can tell I've worked on the top and not the bottom and look at the difference it makes. I mean, it doesn't matter. Obviously your washer is gonna work the same either way, but you might as well get it nice and clean since we're staring at those all day long. This is another good thing to do if you're like reselling your washer and dryer, take the time to do this and get it nice and fresh for the next person. And then I'm gonna use that same toothpick and just clean around the side. So all of this is easy. It's just something we forget to do and it just helps everything look better and function better. Now I'm gonna take a wet rag and just clean out to the inside of my washer. This is super easy. Like it's super wet and moist, so it's not like you're scrubbing it off. It's not dried in just because your washer or mine is always running, so it's always wet in there. It's really quick and easy to do, and then you're not just building up clumps and it's gonna run easier. I don't know, I just, overall, it's gonna function better on it because nothing's getting dried in and caked on in the creases where your softener needs to be running out. And it just takes a few moments and then you'll see, I'll just go ahead and wipe down a few other things while I have that wet towel out. Once I was finished, I just popped those back in and as you can see, they look brand new again. Okay. 
Okay, the next item I had been forgetting to clean was my razor and my shower. I didn't even notice this until I took it on vacation and I guess the other bathroom had better lighting and the top of it was okay, but when I flipped it over, it was so dirty. Now, if you use disposable razors, you may not have this issue, but if you're buying like razor refills, definitely check your razor because mine was so gross and brown. And all I'm gonna use is a magic eraser. I like to use this to clean a lot of things. I just get it wet and scrub it down and it looked like new when I was finished. Now we're gonna move on to the next area, which is your jetted bathtub. I despise this bathtub. I wanted it so bad when I moved in and I learned I do not like jets. If you're building a house or remodeling a bathroom, get a bathtub without jets. That's gonna be my next mission when we redo this bathroom but they just get so gross. So to clean this, we're gonna use bleach and borax. Now there's all different ways you can clean these jets. They even make a special cleaner, but this is what I had on hand. So this is what I'm gonna use. You just need a cup of bleach and then two tablespoons of borax. That is it. Most of us have that in our house anyways. And I'm just gonna start filling up the tub with super hot water. So let it get hot. Once it got really hot, I went ahead and closed um, the little tab at the bottom so it would start filling up because the hotter the better. And then as it started to fill up, I'm gonna go ahead and put those products in there just because I think the water is gonna help kind of mix it and get it all in there. Now I'm gonna start filling up my bathtub, but I want it to get above the jets, even a lot. If you just get right above it and turn it on, it's gonna spray the water everywhere. So I want a few inches above all the jets. So I'm just gonna let this fill up until we get to that point. So at this point I was showing you the water was high enough and I went ahead and turned off the water and went to turn on the jets and it wouldn't work. I hadn't used this bathtub with the jets in like two and a half years so I thought I was just doing it wrong so I let Chase come in and apparently they were broke because we haven't used them in so long. Okay so this is a learning lesson for all of us. If you don't turn on your jets they will break. <laughs> So it's probably been, I mean, I'm talking two, two and a half years since I've used this bathtub. Now we use it for the boys, but I'm never turning on the jets. So if you have a jetted bathtub and you haven't ran it in a while, run in there and turn those bad boys on because you might break it. But this is a good excuse for a new tub now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start draining this because there's no use in cleaning it, but if you were gonna do this, just turn on your jets and let them run for 10 minutes, drain it, and then fill it up with just normal cold water and do it again for another 10 minutes and you should be good to go. I can't imagine how filthy that would have been and how many bucks would have been in those jets, but now we don't have to find out. But we're gonna move on to the next area, which is your trash can. I am so bad about cleaning this out. Honestly, since we have trash bag liners, I don't even know how the trash cans get so dirty, but they do. And I can't believe I'm gonna show you this, but this is the inside of my trash can and it is disgusting. So if you don't wanna opt for buying a new one and you wanna save money, here is how you're gonna clean it. So I'm gonna start by vacuuming all those loose pieces of whatever is down there out. There was a few things that wouldn't vacuum up, so I went ahead and grabbed them and got them out of there. And then once again, I'm gonna go back to that soapy hot water because I feel like that's just the go-to thing. It works nine times out of 10. I had really, really hot water and I had just a dish soap in there and I'm gonna let it fill up and soak a little bit. And then I'm gonna grab a new sponge and I'm not gonna use this ever again. So when I'm done with this, I'm gonna throw it away, don't worry. I'm not gonna like use it on my dishes, but I'm just gonna scrub this out really well. Oh. 
Then once I'm done scrubbing it, I'm gonna go ahead and dump that water into the sink. It really wasn't that dirty when I shampoo my carpets. It's way worse than actually the bottom of that trash can, which is kind of scary because that trash can looked gross. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean the outside of it. Don't forget to do this. Since mine's white, I could see how dirty it was. I can't believe I hadn't noticed it before, but it is normally in a drawer and I put a liner over it, but it did need to be wiped down. And I'm just using my magic eraser to get all the gunk off of it. And then once I'm finished with that, I wanted to go ahead and disinfect it. So I just pulled out those wipes so I could wipe it down and get it nice and clean and disinfected. So here is an after so you can see how much cleaner it looks. There's not food all on it. It's gonna smell so much better, especially since we keep ours like in a drawer. Those can get really stinky. And you can tell right here, a lot of it cleaned out in the bottom. It's not 100% clean, but it is so much better than what it was. Then if we switch out the trash while people are here, we don't have to be mortified. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is put a liner in it. And then once I'm done doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum out that trash can drawer. So if your trash can is in a drawer as well, definitely make sure to clean around it because I think kids miss sometimes or it overflows and that was pretty dirty as well. So don't forget that spot either. Okay guys, that is a wrap. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely let me know down below in the comment section if there was an area that I reminded you that you needed to clean today. I'd love to hear about it. And I wanna thank Second Nature again for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna have their link and coupon code down below in my description box, so definitely remember to check that out. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.